welcome to Grass Mandarin. I'm Teacher Rosie. Do you know how to pronounce this number? This one? And how about this one? In daily life, we often need to read some numbers. Some numbers are very short and simple, so we can read it very easily. While another's are particularly very long, it's very difficult to read it. But don't worry. In this video, I will introduce you to five words and one pattern. After you get this, I'm sure you can easily master the pronunciation of all the numbers. The five words are ten, 十, hundred. 百, thousand, 千, ten thousand, one, one hundred million, 亿. Firstly, let's review the pronunciation of those numbers. Zero, 零, one, 一, two, 二, three, 三, four, 四, Five, 五, six, 六, seven, 七, eight, 八, nine, 九. You can click on the link below to continue practice in our shots. The first words, 十, it means 10. This is a pattern for reading two digits. For example, 23. We read it. 23. It should be noted that when the first digit of the two digits is 1, we often omit the 1. For example, 17. We can read it. 17 or 17. We omitted one and uh, thirteen. We often read it. 十三, 十三. Okay, let's practice more. Twenty-three. 二十三, 56, 五十六, 40, 四十. The second word is 百, which means Hundred. When it comes to the three digits, for example, four hundred and forty-six, we read it. Okay, let's practice more. One hundred and twenty-eight, we read it. E by R Shi Ba three hundred and six Sam by Ling Liu seven hundred and seventeen Chi by Chi The third word is Qian which means thousand. When we say four digits, for example, one thousand eight hundred and nineteen five. We read it, 1895. Okay, let's practice more. 8,888, the favorite number of Chinese people. 8,888. 7,888 9,052 
This is the basic pattern to reading numbers in Chinese. Four numbers as a unit. We just need to learn two more words. Then you can read all the numbers in Chinese. Let's start. The first word is one, which means ten thousand. When we read the numbers that contain the five or more digits, we read them in this way, such as thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and ninety-three. We counting from back to front. Four digits are a unit. Draw a comma. So we read it. 三万七千八百九十三，三万七千八百九十三。Let's practice more. Fifty-six thousand three hundred and ten. As the same, count from back to front. Four digits as a unit. Draw a comma. So we read it. 五万六千三百。一十五万六千三百一 ，seven hundred and thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and two. Counting from back to the front, four digits as a unit. Draw a comma. So I read it. 七十三万八千九百零二，七十三万八千九百零二。One million seven hundred and thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and two. Count from back to front. Four digits as a unit. Draw a comma. So we read it. 一百七十三万八千九百零二。一百七十三万八千九百零二。Thirty-one million seven hundred and thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and two. We are still counting from the back to front. Four digits as a unit. Draw a comma. So we read it. 三千一百七十三万八千九百零二。三千一百七十三万八千九百零二。If the number exceeds eight digits, we need to use this word, e, which means one hundred million. For example, four hundred and thirty-one million seven hundred and thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and two. We are still counting from back to front. Four digits as a unit. Draw a comma. The first comma is one. And the second comma is e, so we read it: 四亿三千一百七十三万八千九百零二。四亿三千一百七十三万八千九百零二。The population of China at 2023 is one billion four hundred and eleven million. Seven hundred and forty-nine thousand five hundred and thirty-eight. We read it in Chinese. Is 十四亿一千一百七十五万九千五百三十八 You get it. At last, let's review about those five words and one pattern together. The five words are 十 ten. Hundred, 百 thousand, 千 The three words that basic pattern in Chinese. Two more is ten thousand, 五万 one hundred million, 亿 The model of the reading numbers in Chinese is counting from back to front. Four numbers form a unit. With the first unit. We can read about ten thousand, is which is one, and the second unit being for the hundred million, and we call in Chinese is e. The twelve numbers can cover all the common numbers in our life. If you think this video is useful for you, please feel free to forward and comment. 
Also, remember to subscribe to us, and we will post the more useful video in the future. Goodbye.